Getting going when your fitness is at rock bottom can be tough and also a little bit daunting. But believe me, if you get the basics right, you keep on pushing, you will improve and you will see that fitness start to rise. In this video, we're gonna share you a few tips to keep you on track, get that motivation high, get you out to enjoy those roads in no time. Woo! It's gonna feel like you've just jumped in a swimming pool with no swimming costume. To start with people, you've got to believe. You're at the beginning of your training journey. This is when your fitness is low and this is when things can feel really hard. Trust me, I've been there. I've had those first few rides and I'm wondering how on earth am I ever gonna improve? This feels like it's so hard, but trust me, it doesn't matter who you are, you dig deep, you keep showing up, you keep turning those pedals, things will improve and suddenly, you will have that eureka moment when you jump on the bike. And you're like, wow, I'm feeling a lot better than yesterday. I'm feeling like I can do this. And that's when the wheels start to get into motion. If you're starting from scratch, then you definitely need to try and take it easy when you first start riding. Most probably, if you're beginning from nothing, you'll be well rested, feeling quite fresh. So those first few rides back, it might be the case that you're feeling pretty good as a result of this. So you don't want to get carried away because if you do so, what will happen is that fatigue will catch up with you. You'll be feeling great, you'll go out, you'll smash it really hard, think this is amazing, and then suddenly, boom, it knocks back down to zero. I've been there before. So my advice to you, be take it really easy. Get more rest than you think you need. Really just go out, enjoy the rise, take it super slow. Only start ramping things up when you feel like you're getting on top of those rides, on top of that recovery. That is when you can begin to progress and make things harder. On that note, fatigue is always something that is gonna bite at some stage of your training journey, no matter what you're doing. To progress, you really need to manage that fatigue. It's all about learning when to recover properly, when to push on, and making sure that kind of linear line of your fitness improving over time is a gradual one. You don't want it to shoot up straight away, and then that's when you hit the fatigue and you have to take time off and actually your fitness dips further down than it would have done if you'd just gradually ramped things up and taken it easy. And I know it is really hard to take things easy at the start because you've got goals in mind, you're fresh, you want to hit the ground running, but recovery is so important. Recovery actually is just as important as training. So you need to get that balance right. If you really do want to progress and take your fitness from ground zero to the sky. One thing I definitely would suggest if you're just getting going again is to think about your position because if you've had quite a long spell away from the bike, it might be that you're jumping on after a few months off and you're getting back onto the same position that you might have been riding in the past. So you might have been smashing it through the summer months, you're flexible, you're supple, and you're able to cope with that aggressive position a little better. Now suddenly you're getting on in the winter, you haven't been riding your bike, and that aggressive position can feel quite hard to handle. So think about potentially relaxing it, maybe raising the bars at the front a millimeter or two. Same with the saddle, seat post. Potentially think about dropping it and generally riding in a little less aggressive position than you're used to. And as you start getting going, that's where you can begin to adapt things and get back to that same position you've been used to riding. Sometimes though, it is better to leave the bike at home. I know that's a sad thought when your beloved steed is taken away from you, but it can really prove useful. Cross training is a brilliant way of building your fitness, mixing things up, keeping yourself mentally fresh too by doing different things. And sometimes the fact that you're moving away from the bike means you're super motivated when you do jump on and take on a session. I used to love cross training when I was building up throughout the winter towards weight racing in the season. So something I really used to enjoy doing was running, swimming. I used to go out running 10 minute runs. Then I'd do 10 minutes of core and repeat that four times. And it's just a brilliant way of working your body in different ways and you'll be really surprised actually at how you can build your fitness off the bike and how that then translates to your power when you hit those climbs. Last one and definitely one to remember, 
just have fun. When you're getting going again, you're starting from ground zero, just have fun on the bike. Enjoy being out on the road. Enjoy pushing on the pedals. Enjoy being out in nature. That's what it is all about. Don't get too bogged down in trying to stick to targets, stick to goals. You might have something that you're aiming towards in the future, but for now, try not to worry about it. Just get out, just enjoy being there. Enjoy being in the moment. The sun on your cheeks, the road beneath your feet, and a lovely coffee stop in the middle of it all. Enjoy the riding, folks. Stay on track. There we go then, a few tips that will hopefully help you on your way. If you're just jumping on the bike after a long spell off, or maybe you're trying to get your fitness going and you're just looking for that added motivation to keep things turning and keep on pushing on. I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, please give it a big thumbs up and let us know in the comment section below if you've got any tips that you'd like to share with everyone else that's kept you moving, kept you going, and perhaps the motivation has started to dip. And as always, Thanks for watching everyone, we'll see you on the next video.